What up, Facebook? What up, YouTube? Um, coming to you guys with my August update. August was a very interesting month. We've had some uh, strong demand continues um, throughout the month of August and July. So the only thing that we see really going into this these winter months is, is more demand and low supply. So um, just to kind of give you an idea of where, of where the market is right now, demand is super strong in August. Pendings went up about 3.4% over July. Total pendings had transactions in August. Um, they're up about 25% year over year, which is actually the highest pending levels uh, for August in over a decade. So that just lets you know that the demand here in, in Denver, Colorado is continuing to be strong. So for all you people that are out there looking for deals and looking for ways to squeeze your way in, it's probably gonna be in those higher inventory level uh, cities and I mean, um, towns and I'll show you guys um, about that a little bit later. But um, so supply just continues to grow tighter and tighter and tighter. Active listings are actually down 40% year over year. Um, that's 3,400, I think about 65 fewer active listings in total. Um, these numbers are lower than we saw during the, the executive orders in March and April. So that just lets you know that March and April is when everything started and and now we're even seeing even lower levels than when everything started with the pandemic. So um, that just lets you know, if you got buyers out there, you guys definitely gonna have to um, have you a good agent that knows how to write these contracts or else you're gonna continue to lose and lose on these deals um, because they're very competitive. But just make sure your, your offers are competitive. The average sold prices came in above asking with detached single families for, um, everything between pretty much that 300 to 799 range. Attached single family homes saw that in about the 300 to uh, th uh, 399 price range, which um, as you guys know, the detached are heavily wanted, um, but inventory is still super low with the, the attached because of the price point that they're in. And if you're looking, if you're living in Douglas County, um, you guys have gotten a lot more popular. They had 27% in sold listings year over year while um, the metro, the Denver area pretty much uh, sits at about 11.2%. So go Douglas. So if we look back this year to date, we're only down about 1.3% in total sale units. So um, even though we have a pandemic, we have job loss, we have um, unemployment, not, not unemployment, but we just have people getting sick, people passing away, probates. There's a lot of opportunities, but there's also um, a lot of windows closing for first-time home buyers. So if you're, you know, you're actively looking right now, you definitely need to be making offers and finding something that you like, not that you like, but actually that you love. So that the offer that you do, you guys do put in is very competitive, um, and then you guys can win that home that you, you know, daily so hardly work for. Um, yeah, so that's my pretty much weekly update in August. If you guys have any questions about the market um, or just want to get out to see some homes or uh, want to know how you can be a, become a first time home buyer and all the benefits and, and opportunities you guys have right now, I would love to answer those questions for you. So uh, drop a link in the comment if you need to. Follow my YouTube page, Buy the Block Brown. Um, this is pretty much going to be on there, but I'm also going to put it on Facebook and Instagram. So, uh, yeah, that's the August update for you guys. This is Josh Brown with iHomes Colorado. Over and out.